What's going on everyone, this is Dom, and you might recognize this relic right here. This, my friends, is a late 2011 MacBook Pro, and uh, it's it's seen some better days. I mean, this, this thing has been loved, but as every old computer does, it gets slow and to the point where you wanna throw it out the window like a discount tire commercial. This thing is absolutely I can't, I just can't anymore with this thing. It's, it needs to be fixed. We are going to make this run a lot better. And a big shout out to Clean My Mac for sponsoring this video. I actually reached out to a lot of you guys on Twitter and I was like, what do you think of Clean My Mac? Because I personally had never used it up to this point. And everybody gave a really overwhelmingly positive response in regards to that software. So we got it installed on here. They wanted to sponsor a video on the channel. I wanted to make sure it was cool with all of you first. and. We're gonna run it here in real time. I mean, it's said to help make your Mac run like new. It speeds up, cleans up, and protects your Mac all in one tool. And I know that all sounds like a bunch of marketing stuff, but in reality, that's that's the case here. So we're gonna open this bad boy up, and uh, not physically, but we might physically open it up a little bit later as I show you some other options to help speed up your Mac. But we got Clean My Mac installed, so we're gonna get into everything. But anyway, we just hit the scan button. It's gonna scan through everything, find system junk, unneeded files. I mean, you can see it when it starts up right here. It's gonna clean up protection and speed. So it's looking for unneeded files right now. It's scanning the entire computer, and uh, well, we'll see what it comes out with. All right, so we finally finished with Clean My Mac, and uh, it legit took like 45, 50 minutes to finish the whole process. Now, that's not going to be the case for everybody out there. This one particularly just had a lot of crap on it that needed to be removed, so it took a long time. I mean, check this out. It got rid of 27.29 gigabytes of unneeded junk for potential threats. It ran some tasks and, and whatnot that uh, basically freed up a lot of space on the computer here. Um, so, I mean, it, it actually did what it said it was going to do. It's, it, I, you know, I would think that are, there are a lot of uh, competitor apps out there, but this one, it, it did what it said it was going to do. It cleaned up, cleaned up the Mac completely, and surprisingly, you know, it's it's gotten a little bit snappier. I mean, it's not going to be a miracle worker or anything, but it did its job, and it looked pretty nice while doing it. The interface is kind of cute, but don't uh, don't let that fool you. It's a very powerful app. So if you want to find out more about Clean My Mac, I definitely recommend using the link in the description to download a free trial. But, you know, sometimes in, inside of your MacBook, you have a hard drive, and, and maybe it's just not performing optimally. It might be going bad. It might be on its way out. In this case, the same hard drive has been in here since 2011. So, you know, it's, it's probably on its way out and these things are really easy to fix. Now I'm not gonna do a whole tutorial on this, but I actually am gonna stick a solid state drive in here as well. And it's really easy, just unscrew the screws around here. And I think I had a tutorial on this a long time ago. So if I can find that, I'll link it in the description. But once you have the screws out, you can pull off the bottom of the MacBook. You can see all the guts and everything inside of here. And we have our RAM and we have our hard drive now. You can go ahead and replace the RAM, but we're just gonna focus on the hard drive. We're gonna swap it out with the solid state drive right here. So removing this thing is actually pretty simple. This little bracket here actually goes right there and I've already went ahead and removed that for us. And if you pull up on this tab, these little holes on the side previously had pegs in here, which I've already stuck in to our solid state drive that we're putting in here. So, you know, no need to go through all that, but you can see here that we have a thin little ribbon cable that's attaching the connector to this hard drive. You wanna be very, very careful not to rip this. If you rip this, you're done, son. But over here, we do have our battery clip. Now we wanna take this off just, just to ensure that we won't cause any damage to anything in the computer. You can just slightly wiggle that up and kind of move it out of the way just like that. So now we're ready to get on to the hard drive portion of things and we can slowly take this out and go ahead and uh, just wiggle this connector out. Like I said, be careful with the ribbon cable. And then we can just go ahead and punch in our SSD here. Just fit it in there, like a little piece to a puzzle, slide it down, and then this bracket will go ahead and screw on back onto there. Now, like I said, we can replace our RAM as well, and that's really easy to get out. If you wanna replace the RAM, you know, I'd recommend it if, if you have a low amount. This actually only has four gigabytes of RAM in this computer. You just pull these little tabs off to the side, pops out, and you just slide it out like that. You can stick it back in like a Pop-Tart, 
in a toaster, you're good to go. So that's kind of the process to swap out the hard drive. You can either swap it out with a, another hard drive, a faster hard drive, or in my recommendation, a solid state drive. Upgrade your RAM if you want. Like I said, these aren't full tutorials, but ifixit.com has a ton of them that you can check out if you want to get in depth with um, restoring an older MacBook. But I don't know, I think you should have Clean My Mac on your Mac. It actually did some wonders for the hard drive that was installed in here as well, which I was pretty surprised about and you can find out more or download a free trial for clean my Mac using the link in the description I mean overall the process is pretty simple if you want to make a MacBook run better again I mean this this guy is an ancient MacBook but we were still able to do a lot with it with clean my Mac and other options that are available so check out all the links in the description below let me know what you think about all this have you ever done this before yourself drop a comment down there and leave this video a thumbs up if you enjoyed it and also if you're new around here subscribe to the channel and hit the notification bell so you can be notified when new videos like this drop in the future so thank you so much for watching everyone I really appreciate the support this is Dom and I'll catch you in the next video